Caddis Maximus here, this time with the Lufkin 1066D Engineer's Rule. Folding rule, ruggedized version. This would be the red end. And uh, I actually, I don't know exactly what that, <laughs> that means. However, I do know that out of all the folding rules that are still for sale in like big box stores and retail, this Lufkin is one of them. Now, it's called an engineer's rule because it actually has two different scales. And no, they're actually not uh, metric and fractional. It would be uh, standard inch or fractional inch, 12 inches per foot, as well as decimal inch. So you actually have each foot broken up into 0 through 10. So you might measure something and say it's 0.7 feet long versus saying that it's eight and a half inches long and that's kind of the deal with the engineer's rule is the just that fact that it allows you to do dual measurements in both uh, decimal as well as fractional but it is both in English measurements it's just decimal versions of English you know point inches versus fractional versions of, of English measurement and that's really why it's called the engineer's rule now, I had reviewed a Craftsman aluminum one, and I did like it, but there is something to be said about these Lufkins. Actually, a couple things to be said. One, quite a few of these on the shelf did not look to be uh, made as well as they used to be. Many of them had bubbling or folding paint where I was able to actually rub it off. Some of them had some pretty loose joint, or a couple had some loose joints on them, so I was a little disappointed with the Lufkin quality control. Fifteen bucks for this thing. Not super expensive, but still you would expect to have decent paint. So I had to search through a few of them to pick up uh, this unit. As far as folding rules are concerned, I do like this Lufkin. It is pretty, uh, is reasonably lightweight. It does have metal end caps, as we can see actually right here on both sides. And a nice brass construction, which will resist corrosion. One of the big deals, you always want to make sure that these joints are lubricated properly. But the big deal is it's very high tension. This is a folding roll which can hold straight pretty much to every completely folded out except for maybe the last fold. If you had it folded all the way straight except for this last fold, this Lufkin will hold it straight. And that's actually one of the nice things I do like about it is the fact that it has very uh, high tension, quite high tension uh, joints in it. So it may be a little bit of frustrating. Uh, you know, they will break in as time goes on. But it is better to have one of these which just has a nice stiff joint to where you can uh, easily uh, get it to maybe hold a, a right angle or straight and it will actually stay there. And that's kind of the frustration with lesser models is the fact that they just are a little bit too floppy. And they do remind you on this second piece to, to uh, oil the joints. So not a whole lot about these rules. There's, you know, they do have a couple of uh, handy things. One is they do allow you to match angles. You can measure an angle and then leave it there and go and do your cut or do a trace and you have the exact measurement as well as some other handy things. Say you're in an instance where you just have to reach around something and uh, it's difficult. So you could do something. Let me. There we go. You could do something where you have it folded out a little bit, such as this, and then you could actually reach around something and then see and get a measurement, even though it'd be difficult for you to reach your hand and actually get a tape measure. Sorry about the dishwasher there. Uh, anyway, it allows you to get to uh, do a measurement around essentially a blind corner or er areas that are difficult to access, so I do appreciate that. Other things that you can do is you can use these to keep track of measurements by, folding, by say, taking a measurement and then just using a folding portion to point to the number. That's also been probably one of the, the, the biggest tricks to folding rules is just using one of the arms to point at your measurement or your angle. So if we do something else here, say if we attempt to measure this cat, we can see this cat on average <laughs> is maybe one and a half feet, so 1.5, 1.6 feet actually I should say. Actually, I'm measuring from the wrong end here. I should be measuring from this side. Let's go ahead and do that again. And there we go. We're actually, this cat's looking about 1.4 feet long. So, pretty nice in that situation. There's some instances where it just seemed a little bit easier to use a folding rule. Because they're kind of like a tape measure in some aspects, and they're like a, a yardstick in others. 
and I think this Lufkin one is still pretty decent. You just have to take a look. And that would probably be my warning, is if you order one of these, um, you may not get one that is made uh, to what would be the, the Lufkin's reputation. They had a reputation uh, for making some extremely fine measuring uh, tools, and it was just disappointing that I had to hunt through like 10 of them on the shelf to actually uh, get one that looked real nice. And so that would be one of the caveats, I'd say, if you ever order one of these online. But it's so interesting that they are still making these and even still selling them in the store. So there's still plenty of demand for them. And it is nice. This one with uh, the real stiff joints really does make it a pleasure to use. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed... Please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.